Just very quickly, talking of abject fact-checking exercises, you said in the speech that uh, wages growth wasn't going uh, particularly well. What's the current WPI? Well, <laughs> Google it, mate. I mean, <laughs> like, I am, I am Thank sick. Mate. If you want to know, if you want to know why people are turning off politics, it's because what happens you know what when you have a an election that increasingly becomes this basic fact-checking exercise between a government that deserves to be turfed out and an opposition that's got no vision. This is what happens. Like, elections should be about a contest of ideas. Politics should be about reaching for the stars and offering a better society. And instead, and instead, there's these questions that are asked about can you tell us this particular stat or can you tell us that particular stat? And those questions are designed to show that politicians are somehow out of touch and not representative of everyday people. Well, newsflash, most of the people in Canberra are on six-figure salaries just passing time until they go out and work for their coal and gas corporations and get a six- or seven-figure lobbying job. Do you know what would be a better way know, of showing... Do you know what would be a better way of showing that politicians are in touch with the need of everyday peoples, it would be passing laws that lift the minimum wage. It would be making dental and mental into Medicare. It would be making sure that we wipe student debt and build affordable houses. And when you've got wages growing at about two and a bit percent and inflation growing at about three and a half percent, that is part of the problem. And I would hope, I would hope that at this election, we can lift the standard and turn it into a genuine contest of ideas. Your profit tax. <laughs> so I'll take that as a no, but on the profits tax question? Well, I answered your question about the wages. Yeah. On the profits, mm -hmm. when you have big corporations with turnover over $100 million and they're making excessive profits, which we define as being um, allowing 5% to be an acceptable profit level, and we're saying take 5%, add it to the long-term bond rate, which is currently around about 1% or 2%, on those excessive profits above that, you tax their uh, profits at 40%. Again, it's in our policy. Just go and Google it and have a look at it. <laughs>